Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Also download our free Android app FinCalci to calculate income taxes and track on monthly basis. Few months are remaining for the financial year to get over and you guys must be finding ways to reduce your income tax. If you guys are not aware, we have something called as tax rebate under section 87A that allows you to save a maximum of rupees 2500 as income tax. But there is a condition for you to be eligible to save income tax under this section. You can save up to rupees 2500 under section 87A as tax rebate only if your taxable income is less than or equal to rupees 350000. Now what exactly is a taxable income? Taxable income can be calculated as gross income minus rupees 40000 which is the standard deduction in case you are an employee or a pensioner minus the investments made by you in the financial year of 2018 and 19. You are eligible to have a tax rebate of maximum rupees 2500 only if this taxable income is less than or equal to rupees 350000 in this financial year 2018 and 19. Let us see how this tax rebate will work with the help of an example. Let us say your taxable income is rupees 350000 after applying all the investments that you have made. Based on 5% tax lab, your income tax will be calculated as 5% of 350000 minus 250000 which makes it as 5% of 1 lakh which is equal to rupees 5000. Now, tax rebate is applied to this rupees 5000 which makes your income tax equal to rupees 5000 minus rupees 2500 which is equal to rupees 2500. 4% tax is applicable on this amount which makes your total income tax as rupees 2600. So your total income tax is rupees 2600 after applying tax rebate of rupees 2500 on your taxable income of rupees 350000. Let us see another example where tax rebate is not applicable. Let us say your taxable income is rupees 360000. In this case, tax rebate under section 87A is not applicable since your taxable income is not less than or equal to rupees 350000. Based on 5% tax lab, your income tax will be calculated as 5% of 360000 minus 250000 which makes it as 5% of rupees 110000 which is equal to rupees 5500. 4% of cess will be applicable on this amount which makes your total income tax as rupees 5720. Whereas total income tax will be rupees 2600 in case taxable income is rupees 350000 as seen in the previous example. So, as you can see, just by getting your taxable income to rupees 350000 or less, you can save maximum of rupees 2500 as income tax. You also save the 4% cess that will be applicable on this amount. So plan your investments accordingly and try to get your taxable income to rupees 350000 or less by investing in various tax deduction schemes. For more information, Follow our blog fincalci-blog.blogspot.com Download our free Android app fincalci to calculate your income taxes and track on monthly basis. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Also download our free Android app fincalci to calculate your income taxes and track on monthly basis.